New evidence has emerged that J.P. Morgan deliberately orchestrated the sinking of the Titanic in order to form the Federal Reserves. What's up everybody? Truth Seeker here. In 1889, Morgan Robinson wrote a book entitled Wrecked of the Titan about a luxury liner deemed the unsinkable that was going too fast in the North Atlantic and hit an iceberg, killing almost everybody on board. Anon News reports, 14 years later this fictional book would play out in real life exactly down to the name with the wreck of the Titanic, but this time it would have major political implications. Some of the wealthiest men in the world were on that ship and some were opposed to the Federal Reserve and central banks. Let's go through some facts about the whole Titanic operation. JP Morgan funded and built the Titanic. JP Morgan was booked on the voyage but canceled at the last second. A friend of JP Morgan, Milton Hersey, also canceled at the last moment and survived to build the Hersey Food Empire. There were no red flares on board to signal any boats for rescue, only white flares that signal a party and that everything is okay. It was the first ship of its kind with the ability to seal decks electromagnetically which could also seal people below the deck. The captain, Edward Smith, was one of the most decorated captains of his time and would have been totally out of character by avoiding precautions. The author of the book was poisoned to death a couple of years after the Titanic sank. The Federal Reserve was formed the very next year and then the Astor family was one of the richest families in the world and John Astor III opposed the Federal Reserve. John Jacob Astor IV, the richest man in the world at the time, a friend of Nikola Tesla, and an outspoken opponent of the creation of the Federal Reserve, Astor gained his wealth in part as a real estate builder, investor, and inventor. Other prominent Federal Reserve detractors such as Benjamin Guggenheim and Isa Strauss also died on board. Did J.P. Morgan get the idea of how to kill off the opposition to the Federal Reserve from a book written 14 years prior? This was a book below titled The Titan published 14 years before the Titanic sank and look at the similarities. Did they hatch a plan at Jekyll Island to build a ship to eliminate the competition? Similarities to the Titanic, although the novel was written before the Olympic class Titanic had ever been designed, there are some remarkable similarities between the fictional and real life counterparts. Like the Titanic, the fictional ship sank in April in the North Atlantic, and there were not enough lifeboats for the passengers. There are also similarities between the size 800 feet long for the Titan versus 882 feet and 9 inches long for the Titanic, speed 25 knots for the Titan, 21 knots for the Titanic, and life-saving equipment. Beyond the name, the similarities between the Titanic and the fictional Titan include, described as unsinkable, the Titanic was the world's largest luxury liner, 882 feet, displacing 63,000 long tons, and was once described as being practically unsinkable. The Titanic was the largest craft afloat, and the greatest of the works of men, 800 feet, displacing 75,000 tons, and it was considered unsinkable. Shortage of lifeboats. The Titanic carried only 16 lifeboats plus four Engelhard folding light bolts, less than half the number required for the passenger's capacity of 3,000. The Titan carried as few as the law allowed, 24 light bolts, less than half needed for her 3,000 capacity. Struck an iceberg. Moving too fast at 22 and a half knots, the Titanic struck an iceberg on the starboard side on the night of April 14, 1912 in the North Atlantic, 400 miles away from Newfoundland. Also on April night in the North Atlantic, 400 miles from Newfoundland, Terra Nova, the Titan hit an iceberg while traveling at 25 knots, also on the starboard side. Sinking. The unsinkable Titanic sank, and more than half of her 2,200 passengers died. The indestructible Titan also sank, more than half of her 2,500 passengers drowning. Went down bow first, the Titan actually capsized before it sank. There really is a lot of similarities here, and there's no telling at times like this, 
you know, the, the things people were able to get away with. There wasn't, you know, satellites, and there wasn't people with smartphones, and there wasn't, you know, too much anything for people to actually communicate to. These people were out in literally the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the ocean. Anything could have happened to that ship, and all we know is the stories of the people that were supposedly survivors. And pretty much the majority of the people that got off that ship were the wealthy. They all pretended to be poor. There was even guys pretending to be women carrying children. There was just a whole bunch of crazy stuff like that. But these rich people got off that ship. And they made sure that the story that they had stuck. And that's what everybody kept repeating forever. Just like how all the stories happen now with today's false flags. I mean tragedies that happen. We definitely live in a world where rich elite people can make anything happen and they can make anybody believe any story that they want to always receive an outcome to their favor but I think that day in history is finally over and this now being the digital era the age of information where we are all actually linking together and sharing with each other now and actually starting to wake up and ignore what the mainstream media has to tell everybody. We basically started a whole new revolution. A whole new era is here. And we're going to start busting out all the shadiness that happened throughout history all the way till now. That's our job as alternative media. And that's your guys' job as critical thinkers. It's very serious times that we live in right now. Right now, the decisions that we make and the things that happen are very very important to our future right now there's gonna be a lot of changes happening in the upcoming years we're seeing a lot of it actually happen right now but this is still just the tip of the iceberg no pun intended there but we're definitely moving to a more positive direction I can see and I am proud that so many people are awake and joining the bandwagon here so we got a country to save so it's our jobs and duties to expose all the corruption that happened even if it was in the past like this for example and to me I find this very 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 ironic how the two stories compare so much it's almost as if Whoever reported the story on the Titanic more or less just read that book and then just changed a few details from it. I don't know. You guys be the judge of it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We also now officially opened up our online web store. You can now get Sick in the Truth t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other accessories. This will definitely make a great gift idea, and every purchase will help out this channel. The link is in the description below. Hey everyone, this is Josh from Sick in the Truth. Um, as you may know that YouTube has actually been through a crisis with a lot of the ad networks now, and uh, there's been over $45 million pulled out of the ad revenue, and so us content creators are actually having a pretty hard time now trying to make a, a decent living with just the YouTube channel itself. So if you can, are able to support our channel 
uh, at our Patreon address. You can just go to it right here at the top. And you can make a pledge. Uh, a dollar would be fine. A dollar a month. Two dollars a month. A cup of coffee. You know, the pri like Christopher Green would say, the price of a cup of coffee <laughs> would help keep this continuing on. And a shout out to all the people that are already supporters. And uh, I will be glad to throw every new supporter also into the video end credits. And it would just help us out so much. Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video, and comment below. And we'll see you on the flip side. Peace. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Ooh.